this is why I do test runs. Um, other than <clears throat> discovering that the turns are too sharp by the coal loading station, which is an easy fix. <clears throat> um, I'm not happy with the sound. So what I think I'm gonna do is move the speaker down to the bottom instead of where it is, which is glued right to the chassis. And hopefully that'll improve the sound a little bit. Uh, it's a little too, a little too quiet for my taste. So, <clears throat> oh, and the glue stuck to the sticker on the back of the speaker. So hopefully there's enough slack in the speaker wire that I can get this done. Oh boy, not really. All right, I'm gonna glue that in place and then seal off the rest of the vents to uh, keep the speaker encapsulated. All right, so it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but the speaker is sealed off. So it's in like a sealed box now. So hopefully the sound improves. I just used hot glue because, you know, I basically own stock in hot glue. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Uh, we'll test out the sound. I did change the horn while I was at it. So hopefully we get a little better sound. Also, it's a little windy out here. So <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but the, the excavator has fallen already. Also, but okay, here we go. Anyway, well, that's a lot louder. Sounds a lot better. It was definitely a good idea to change that location of the speaker. I'm happy.